math message. Answer the following questions as best you can. Be as precise as possible. 1. How many eggs did you eat in the last seven days? Blank eggs. 2. How many cups of milk did you drink in the last seven days? Blank cups. 3. How many cups of yogurt did you eat in the last seven days? Blank cups. Okay, you can answer those and then unpause the screen when you are done. Okay, so these are my answers. You don't need to, it doesn't mean that they're right for you though. I think I ate about four eggs. I probably had about nine cups of milk because um, I have milk in my coffee. How many cups of yogurt? I didn't actually have any yogurt, so I put zero. Okay, we're going to use that information that you wrote um, to uh, in just a little bit. Um, but right now, I want you to open up page 286 in your math book book, please. The hard book. Unpause the video when you've gotten there. Okay, like I said, we are on page 286. Um, what do Americans eat? So I'll read through this with you. They've got pictures of food on the bottom. So these are facts um, that the it says real world, world data. What do you Americans eat? The U.S. Department of Agriculture conducts surveys to find out a, how much food Americans eat on average. They ask a large number of people to keep the lists of all the foods they eat over a period of several days. These lists are then used to estimate how much food, how much of each food was eaten during one year. That's a long time to keep track of your food. Americans eat on average more than 2,000 pounds of food per year. This is about one and a half or five and a half pounds of food per day. So that's like each American, like adult American. Most current results, the most current results show that Americans eat or drink about the following amounts of average amounts of these foods in one year. So the average adult eats 48 pounds of apples, 25 pounds of bananas, five broccoli, 21 pounds of candy, what? 12 pounds of carrots, 33 pounds of cheese, 249 eggs, so not pounds, eggs. So just think how many you ate. <laughs> 16 pounds of fish, 13 of ice cream, um, 362 cups of milk. So that's almost a glass of milk every day. 23 cups of yogurt. 46 slices of pizza, 30 pounds of lettuce, and 68 quarts of popcorn. So I want you to think to yourself, does any of this information surprise you? I know it surprised me. Hearing all that candy, oh my goodness. Um, do you think this information has changed since it was collected? So since they published this book and printed this book and we had it at Lincoln School, do you think anything has changed? It probably has. Eating habits of Americans change over time. One thing I was thinking about is there seems to be more and more non-dairy milk options. So like coconut milk, oat milk, almond milk. Um, those are a lot of things that people are doing and drinking. It's more available now than it used to be, especially in North Dakota. So they might eat more or drink more of that. Okay. Um, it says average. Okay, what is meant by the word average amount of food per year? Does everyone eat more than two thousands of food per year or five and a half pounds a day? Average means some people might actually eat that right on the dump, but some people might eat more, but then you also have people that eat less. Like for example, my grandma, she eats less food because she doesn't um, run around as much as she used to when she was younger. She Her body doesn't need as much food to fuel her everyday lifestyle. 
let's say you're a big bodybuilder or you like working out, you'll probably be more hungry. Your body needs more carbs, um, which gives it energy to do your good workout. Okay, so today we're going to estimate the products of large numbers. Um, okay, so how many pounds of bananas might the students in our class eat in a year? So we're going to estimate that. So 25 pounds of bananas and we have 18 students. Okay, so estimate doesn't mean that we actually like add it all up 25, 18 times, okay? Instead, we might choose a number that's closer to that. So I like the number 20. So I can estimate with the number 20 and then we'll see how close we are. Okay, so 25 times 20, I'm gonna take my friendly numbers, 25. Whenever I see the number 25, I think of, um, I think of a quarter, like, a, you know, like the coin a quarter that we use. Okay, and so 25 times two, if I had two quarters, that gives me 50 cents. How many zeros? One zero here, none over here. So that means I add a zero on the end. So now they said I can use a calculator. So I'm going to use the phone uh, calculator. 18 times 25 equals 450. Are we close to 500? Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, Pounds of bananas, just our class alone eats in a year. Isn't that crazy? So estimate, um, why is an estimate helpful? Sometimes we don't need to know exact information, but you can just kind of guess and get close to it. So that's nice. Okay, so now let's look at eggs. How many eggs might an average family of four eat in one year? So eggs, Gotta find it. 249 eggs and four people. Wow, that's a lot. So do I like that number 249 to multiply? No, so I'm gonna choose 250 times four, okay? Because they said four people. Again, friendly numbers, 25 and four. I know that four quarters equal a dollar, which is 100 cents, 100. And then how many zeros? One in this one, nothing there. So we add one to our end. A thousand eggs a year. Oh my goodness. I wonder how many chickens it takes to get that many eggs in a year. Good source of protein. Okay. Oh, so now I'm going to look back. I'll type in my options here. So we said 249 times four people, 996. That is very close to a thousand. So we did a great job with our estimating number. And the last one, how many cups of milk might all fourth grade students in our school drink in a year? So we have 18 in our class. I believe the other class is 18. So that would give us 36 students. I'm just gonna write that in the corner. Is that a nice number to multiply? Mm, not so much. So maybe I'll just bring it up to 40 cause that'll be a friendly number. Okay, times how many cups of milk? 362. Good thing milk is our state beverage and we raise, we raise cattle in our state, dairy cows that produce milk, so that helps. 362. Oh, that's not a friendly number either. So I'm going to go up to, go to 360. Okay, now here we go. So four times 36 is, is 144. We count our zeros, one zero in this, pro, in this number and then one zero at the end. So we add two more zeros. 
one, two. Wow, 14,400. Now we'll actually see the real answer here. 362 times 36. My phone says 13,000. Whoa. Thirteen thousand thirty-two. That is a big difference by about one thousand one hundred. So sometimes it's not necessarily like if you're going to make a recipe or something, you want to be more exact. But this is just like a rough estimate for us. That's a lot, a lot of milk. So that's about six tons of milk that we would drink just as fourth grade students. That's not even including Mrs. Caston and myself. Wow. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to look on page 108 in our math journals. Please open to 108. Okay, 108. Write an estimate and show your thinking. Use a calculator to solve the problem. Check that your answer is reasonable based on your estimate. So yes, you can use a calculator. What? Yes, you can. A housefly beats its wings about 190 times per second. I like to underline things that seem like I might need them later. So I'm gonna write HF above that, housefly. A wasp can beat its wings about 400 times. So above that, I'm gonna write a W and underline 400 times per second. About how many more times does a wasp beat its wings in one minute compared to a housefly? So first we need to figure out wasp. Then we need to figure out housefly. So, hmm. Are we using minutes or seconds? Well, right here they give us seconds, but we need our answer in a minute. So how many seconds are in a minute, class? 60. So here we go. So WASP is 400 times 60 equals, okay, housefly 190. Is that as nice to see? Um, no, so I'm going to do 200 times 60 because those are friendly numbers. So 2 times 6 is, I'll get my pen. Two hundred times sixty equals. So we take our friendly numbers. 2 times 6 is 12. Count our zeros. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Now 400 back to the wasp times 60. Four times six is 24. How many zeros? Oops, sorry, it's blurry. How many zeros? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so it's saying, so that's part A. So we've converted that to minutes. We found out how many they would do in a minute. And now, how many more times does the wasp beat its wings than a housefly? So our wasp answer is 2,000 or 24,000 minus 12,000. Okay, so our answer we would put here equals 12,000. Is our answer, oh, so that's, uh, that's our estimate, sorry. This is now our real answer, okay? So our real answer, now we need to go back here. What's 100, so this is our real answer for a wasp, but now we're gonna use our calculators and figure out 190 times 60. So this is probably something I'll be doing on my whiteboard since there's not a lot of room here. equals 11,400. So now we can take 2,400, or sorry, 24,000 minus 11,400. 
So two four zero 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 minus one one four zero zero. Twelve thousand six hundred. Okay, so this is our first answer for our estimate. This is our actual answer. Is our answer reasonable? Yeah, that's really close. Yes. How do you know? Because my estimate answer was one or twelve thousand, and my real answer was 12,600. Notice how I gave my reason. I gave facts that I had learned and I wrote about on top. So that makes up a good answer. Okay, next. This you can, um, if you were in class today, you'd be working on this with your table groups, um, but we will work on it together, you and I here. The best cows give about 400 cups of milk every day. The best goats, oops, cow, 400 cups. The best goats give about eight cups of milk every day. So G for goat and eight cups. About how many more cups of milk will a cow give in a year than a goat? Okay, do we need to convert anything? Like on top, we needed to convert seconds to minutes. Uh, wanting our answer in cups, and it talks about cups at the top, there and there. So we are good to go. We don't need to convert anything. The best goats give about eight cups. How many more cups of milk would a cow give in a year than a goat? Well, days though, that's the tricky part. So how many days are in a year? <clears throat> Every for three years, we have 365 days. So we go 400, uh, they said cows, more cows than a goat. So I'm gonna do cows right here. So 400 times 365. Ooh, is that a friendly number? No, so I might actually change that to 350. That's a friendly number. Okay, um, and then eight cups times 365. That's the actual, but we need it for our estimate. So we'll do eight times 350 there as well. Wow, what a difference. Cows and goats. Cows give a lot more milk than goats in a day and a year. Okay, so friendly numbers, four times 35. is 140. How many zeros? One, two, three. Two, three. So 140,000 cups. Wow. And then the next one, we take friendly numbers. Eight times 35. Two hundred eighty. How many zeros? One. So one. So now we go 140,000 minus 2,800. The trickiest part is making sure when you're typing in your calculator, how many zeros you need to have in your equation. So we'll type it in, one, four, zero, one, two, three minus 2,800. And this is what it gave me. 139,720. Mm, I must have typed that in wrong. I did. No, nope, did I? One. 140,000, oh, I did type it in wrong. So that tells me I need to try again. 1,004, 140, one, two, three, minus 2,800. There we go, 100, 
37,200. And that's why you guys write in pencil and I write in pencil so you guys could see better. So that's the estimate answer. Our real answer, we'll just figure that out quick. 400 times 365 is 146,000. So I'll come back here. Eight times 365 is 2,920. So this part here would actually be in like your workspace or it would be on your whiteboard. The estimate is the only thing that would be up on this line. But I'm writing it out here so you can see as we go. So now we need to see how many more. So we would go 146,000 minus 2,920. Yep, so this is our answer in our answer spot, 143,080 cups. Is my answer reasonable? So our first one is 137,200 and our other one, 143,080. Is your answer reasonable? Those are some big numbers that they're off by. They're off by about 6,000. So I'm gonna say no. Because the estimate answer was about 6,000 off from the real answer. Okay, so now number three, you're going to try this on your own. Pause your video and then we'll check when we're done. I'm going to recommend that instead of 365 for days of the year, let's just round that up to 400 for this one. Okay, you can solve on your own. Okay, so using that, what I said for our estimate, 400 times 3,000, that's how much the ant eater eats, which is what, 12 million um, insects per day. I mean, per year, that's a lot of insects. Um, glad I'm not trying to find that many insects. <laughs> the next one is 400 times 50,000 for the aardvark, which leaves us with 20 million. And the last one, is, there's three of things. Okay, so that, then what we would do is you add them together, your, your um, things, because it wants to know how many do they both eat, okay? And that would be 32 million. The actual answer for this is 29,200,000. And then you would write your response down below. Okay, hey, so we've done our math workbook, math journal, page 108. And then you'll work on, on Schoology. This here on page 109. So I'll help us with our first one. It says it's an addition problem. So we always wanna start over here. Nine plus seven is how much? 16, so six, we carry the one. Okay, we, this is 14, six plus eight plus one is 15, 15, so five, carry the one. One plus nine is 10, plus seven is 17, carry the one. Six plus six is 12, plus one is 13. So we carry the one, one plus five is six plus three is nine. So that's how we fill in these missing boxes. So you'll continue with that online, like I said, um, and that's our day today.